Hi guys, we take here. So here we are. We're gonna call this part four for framing. Uh, we're continuing on the uh, this is the, the middle containers. This is a, a spare bedroom and two offices. Angie's office and my office. And uh, here we are. We're just framing up the uh, the sides and the the outer walls basically. And then uh, the next day, I'm gonna come back in and do the middle walls. So we're we're making pretty good progress. I did not do the ceilings in the uh, the other spare bedroom that you can see through the uh, the opening there. Um, I'm gonna do both these sets of containers, uh, the ceilings all at once. Um, that's so four, four full containers, all the ceiling joists, that's going to be fun. But anyway, uh, everything went pretty good. Uh, it's going quite well. And just great help. She's doing uh, most of the cutting for, for all the two buys. And I'm uh, sitting there nailing everything up. So simple walls, you know, stud walls, they're, they're very easy to do. There's no extra work to do there. You just have to put them up and bang them out. 16 on centers and off you go. Um, and then uh, I probably don't show it on the video, but I make headers for this is a door to 36 inch, um, and I make the headers for both sides. So these this wall here is actually going to be uh, around 10 inches thick. Uh, it's four and a half per side, right? Four four ish with the drywall. So nine plus a little bit in the middle. Um, pretty thick. Anyway, here we're doing the uh, the frame up on the uh, the outside wall where the windows are. That always takes a little time because you have to frame around the windows. Uh, the measurements are all the same. We made sure that the windows were all the same height off the floor, etc. Uh, but I always double check now. I don't second guess because we, we did have to cut out a couple of those and redo them. So I put them up, make the initial two buys that go on the outside of the windows. I check them. If they're good, I continue with the rest of the framing on it. So hopefully you're getting some out of these uh, sequences of videos. Uh, what we're trying to do is show you the, the actual process we're undertaking to, to build everything. Um, of course, it's not a tiny house, so um, we're not done in a month. <laughs> we're, it's going to take probably, uh, we're guessing, uh, four to six more months to do most of the inside build. Uh, but it's going pretty good. Uh, the, the two buys are going up. Uh, we don't have a crew, so it's, it's freaking family and uh, myself mostly. Um, building all the stuff Jake Jake and Angie and pop they come over and uh, we, we try to bang it out um, it goes pretty good um, as long as somebody's cutting and somebody's nailing we're, we're on a pretty good mission here so this is uh, June uh, 2nd so this is day two of basically the framing of the inside containers of the offices and the one spare bedroom uh, we don't we're not gonna put a closet in this one it's just gonna be dressers and stuff like that which kind of make more sense than throwing a an actual two by four uh, closet in these kind of smaller uh, bedrooms. Anyway, uh, straightforward uh, frame up. There's 36 inch door, 38 inch rough opening, width wise, and 82 and a half from the floor up to the header. Um, so uh, generic rough openings for 36 inch door. Um, the fun part is trying to figure out how to nail it to the outside wall. Uh, this particular uh, wall just ended up being three two bys on the very outside there. Uh, the cripple plus the two full two by so I could actually nail it up on the, uh, the well, I'm not sure what you call those things but you know the, the extra mounts I put on the outside wall so I can nail stuff to <laughs> whatever those are so this is kind of typical all, all the, uh, the doors are the same built the same way uh, so nothing nothing fancy uh, very consistent uh, I'm actually faster every time I do this because I know the measurements already um, anyway you nail I do this in halves, so you see me nailing this up, level everything out, um, then I put backing 2x4s so I can nail more, um, have everything mounted properly. You see me putting another 2x4 behind the, uh, the mounts, um, and then I use uh, three and a half inch screws to actually put all that together. The nail gun doesn't get into all these crevices, so the, 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 the driver and the screws are the best thing there. Here I'm building the second part of that wall. So now I'm working on the second part of that wall, a bit, pretty straightforward, it's just a few studs. And then I uh, put in some uh, extra mounts to, or extra 2x4s on that outside wall so I could nail this wall into. Um, of course that's for the wall plus the sheetrock. I, I chew this wall up. Uh, of course, I don't. I don't nail it just yet. Um, it's a nice tight fit. Uh, did that on purpose. Here I do a two by four that I put the clamp on. Uh, put a 14 and a half inch connection to it. Nail that up. Go on top, and I use a full stud to uh, 
actually nail this together almost like a top plate uh, just remember typically framing the framing walls you have a top plate to join it all the walls together uh, for more additional support etc so we don't have that problem so here I'm work, working on uh, Angie's office uh, this is the angled hallway um, so I have to do a I believe it's like a 32 or 33 degree angle um, you see a little foot extension there on there no, no big deal um, just an angled cut uh, I put a nail a sister on it so I can nail it to the uh, existing wall there um, and secure it uh, pretty straightforward um, once it all it's all nailed together you know there's really no load no this isn't structural again just shoot for sheetrock so nail this up put it up and uh, chew that up um, pretty pretty quickly and everything's good so you might have noticed I'm not nailing anything to the ground yet um, I'm actually basically building out all the walls uh, once I get the ceiling joists in um, to secure the walls together just in case I have to move anything uh, then I'm going to nail them to the to the concrete so I'm doing it uh, in phases on purpose um, just in case I have to finagle the uh, the levelness of the walls um, right now everything's true and level so everything's cool so here I'm starting the uh, the angled wall to Angie's office. Uh, there's going to be a door right there on the right side uh, near the angle, and uh, basically I'm doing it's two angled sets of two by fours. And I do 16 on center. I mark out where I want the door, rough opening, etc. And I always write down where I want the cripple and where I want the full stud, uh, just to make sure I don't goof up. Um, I'm going to build this in two sections as well. A uh, little sweeping going on just to get all the the nailers. Uh, you know, it's. it's um, collated nails and they have the plastic that holds them together and that spits everywhere so I try to get that off the ground so the two by don't rock on it so set the same uh, door uh, it's 36 wide so 38 rough opening 82 and a half inches off the ground etc um, basically I have uh, the, the zip sheeting the green stuff is half inch uh, turns out to be perfect for making headers uh, you just put half inch between two two by fours and there's your header um, I'm overdoing that a little bit because we probably don't need typical headers but um, it's, it makes the uh, the dimensions perfect so I'm, I'm doing the process um, here I'm doing the other wall uh, this is pretty quick and then I slap them together um, I didn't really show you how I did the corner but I had to put a couple extra two by fours for support it's all pretty solid at that point and then I nail this in, do the same uh, thing with the clamps, nail in a uh, sister, and then I go up top and do the same thing. Uh, I didn't do a full full one because we're going to have, uh, I did it underneath there, because we're going to have rafters running uh, parallel, um, not parallel, perpendicular to the sides of the container. You know, the, you can see the per percolation on top of the roof. We're going to go parallel with those. So here I'm doing the, uh, the last corner, and that went pretty okay. So here I'm just doing uh, the... Uh, the last kind of nail up on the corner um, I had to get uh, a couple pieces of zip sheeting uh, for back spacing so I can nail the two bys together uh, there's an extra two by in there you can't really see it from this angle but um, it needed a little bit extra support once I put it in there and nailed it up it was all good to go so here's a, uh, a real time just to walk through with the GoPro uh, this is the, the angled hallway that of course is the, uh, the spare bathroom the, what we're calling the middle bathroom um, then you go down the hallway and you bump if you go straight straight on that's a spare bedroom and if you go to the left that's a big spare bedroom with its own bath and uh, living quarters uh, no no kitchen just a gigantic apartment what we're calling an apartment but it's, it's really just a spare bedroom and there's my uh, supervisor it's a hot humid day that's Izzy she's almost 15 she's uh, walking around <laughs> inspecting everything um, here's Angie's office came out real nice I think um, it's actually bigger than I expected it to feel uh, once I actually walked through it so that's good um, our prior house had a much smaller office it was a lot tighter but anyway it's going pretty good um, appreciate you guys watching we'll talk at you later so uh, Pop came over on uh, June 3rd and started working on my office walls pretty straightforward it's a uh, one angled wall on the left you see the tape on the ground Pop's looking at it and uh, we're gonna throw the wall on the uh, where the light's shining right now I went and got some wood. Um, these are all 93 inch studs. Uh, much every room is like that, 93 inch studs, plus the one and a half top and bottom plate, so it's 96 inches all the way to the ceiling. And uh, it was good, good help having Pop help me out. He basically holds stuff while I uh, nail it and puts it, puts it in place. Um, and hopefully, 
I'm not sure I got this on video, but uh, this wall, we propped it up with a support piece. I went in to cut some wood and uh, the wall actually tipped on him. So, uh, hit his arm. And <laughs> he's a good guy. He's, a, he's, a, he's only 85. Hey, what could go wrong? Anyway, the wall falling was, uh, he, he was kind of moving something over. i um, not sure, but uh, anyway, right now we're working on the very end piece. Um, you know, look, these are not uh, like support walls, like in a normal house. These are just basically a whole drywall up. So we can bang this stuff up, um, not have a top plate uh, that puts everything together. Uh, typically in a, a framing situation, you have a top plate that basically makes everything nice and straight and true. Uh, we don't need that because we're just going to put uh, ceiling joists on it and go to town. Anyway, here we're doing the uh, the, the back end of the uh, containers. On the other side of this is the garage. So we're almost want to keep these steel, but then I decided against it, so we decided to frame it all out. Um, but we'll do uh, these two walls, then we're going to make a little bulkhead uh, where the joint of the containers is. Uh, typical in all the other rooms we're doing. So, oh, there it is. <laughs> That wasn't good. I heard it, but I didn't see it. So Pop wanted to see the video, so I guess I'll show this to him. Yeah. Uh, he's okay. You know, he didn't get hurt. Uh, he's got a little bruise on his arm. He's a good guy. He's pretty tough. So onwards, uh, we move, move forward. Uh, even though, you know, Pop's pretty tough. He didn't care that the thing hit him in the arm. Uh, we started making the wall on the, uh, the end. It went really quick. Uh, these are very straightforward stud walls. Uh, the fun part is doing the bulkhead, uh, where we have to uh, screw a bunch of pieces together and uh, make the bulkhead uh, cover that the, the joint on the container. So you might see us doing this pink stuff on the floor. That's a uh, sill seal. Um, it actually takes out the imperfections in the floor right against the wall where we couldn't get the grinder to work on it. We put it in some walls. We don't do it in all the walls because uh, it all depends on how flat the, uh, the ground is there. So in a second, you're going to see us working on the, uh, the joint. You see the blue tape on the ground. I swept a little bit, put the 2x4 down, and it's a tiny little, uh, it's, it's a very small few inch square piece that uh, we had to support uh, for this particular wall. And now we're just marking out where the door is going to go, um, rough opening and all that stuff. Uh, we had to build the, the wall kind of in the living room hallway area because we just have the space, but we could not do it in the other uh, the hallway or the room itself. So anyway, here we go. Uh, you might see three 2x4s here because I made a mistake. Um, I put the cripple on the wrong end of the wall. I put it on the top side, not the bottom side. So I just put another 2 by down there, move the cripple down, move the door over an inch and a half. It is what it is. Uh, I wasn't going to cut it out and uh, ruin that 2x4. Not at 8 bucks a hit. So there you go. So mistakes might sound funny on framing, but uh, today's prices uh, were being quite careful on not making mistakes. Um, so here we built the wall, we put it in place, and lo and behold, it actually lined up really nice. Um, everything's coming out really nice and true. The containers, you know, they're, they're a little bent, but whatever. Uh, the walls still come out nice and, nice and flush, uh, level, and everything's truing up really nicely. So, you know, you, you look down the hallway, everything's nice and true. Um, it feels great. Um, even though we, we double check it with the level, I'm not sure you see it on the video yet, so I'm even doing that a second ago. But anyway, and now we put uh, more nailers in place. That's the fun part, putting the nailers in for all the drywall that's going to have to go up in a little bit. So anyway, that's the big task. So Pop left uh, about 3 o'clock. We decided the engineers had to work some more. Um, we decided to start doing the utility room. Uh, which is at the very back end of the hallway you're looking at, uh, right behind the stairway. So I built two walls, uh, the one with the, on the leaning up on the wall already, on the container wall. That's the doorway to our master bedroom. Now we're building the wall that goes on the very back side of the wall. There, there you go. Uh, we're going to put in place, see our sill seal goes in, takes the imperfections out, put that in, knock it down, and then we kind of uh, hold it up with some supports, and then we're going to do the very end wall. So I think after this wall, we do the very end wall, and then we're going to call it quits for that day. And then the next day we come back on the third and uh, bang out the uh, the other walls. They're, they're more, uh, I guess I'll, I'll say intense. They're not intense. Uh, they've got angles and stuff to go under the uh, stairway and uh, actually get the doorway in place as well. So I can see that in a minute. 
So we're uh, pretty consistent on the window location and stuff. This window is a little bit higher up. It's a small window. We need uh, some room for countertop and where the washer dryer is going to go. Um, that's to be decided. But in any case, pretty straightforward. We blocked it in, shoved everything in, secured it, and we called it quits. The next day we come back, just uh, the June 4th, uh, we start building the rest of the walls. Um, I'm going to build, on the right side you see a couple of beveled uh, studs, and that's for the angle of the stairway. I'm going to be roughly four inches below the stairway. It's going to be a little bit of a, a wall. You can see right there, it's probably, what, that's like 20 inches. Um, that's going to be for some shelving and stuff, and right, you'll see them second, you'll see a door that's going to be full height, 80 inch door, and the stuff uh, that goes in there. So in a second, you're going to see me put the wall against the uh, container wall on the back side. I'm putting some nailers in there right now. Then in a second, you'll see me pull the wall in. It's got an angle where the, the same angle as the stairway has. Um, and then a couple of walls are going to go, to, or one wall is going to go to that, go, going to go under the stairway. And then a full height wall is going to go where the door is going to be attached to that. There you go. See the wall right there. This is the doorway area where Angie's standing. That's where the door is going to be. And we had to do this full height because, uh, you know, doors are 8 inches and the angle we have on the stairway right there uh, to make the utility room a little bigger, uh, we move things out. But this wall I just put in, uh, that's going to be an area for some shelving and so forth and so on. So we'll see how that works out. So here we're nailing the uh, doorway in. We built that in the living room as well. Came in, banged it up. Uh, we needed a persuader to get it in place, of course. We made it nice and tight, just so the walls are uh, pretty rigid in there. Uh, you'll see a ton of two by fours in the center connection. It is what it is. Those are all for nailing for the wall board. Um, you know, yeah, you have to make angle. Every time there's an angle or some some kind of a, uh, a joint, uh, you have to have a nailer in there. So extra two by fours and it's eight bucks a hit. You know, it's a forty dollar, two dollar item. <laughs> it is what it is. So that uh, utility room didn't take too long, you know, from normal respect. So we're standing there trying to figure out what to do and we decided to start the game room upstairs. So we're, we're making the end wall. We're gonna do uh, this for that day and then we're gonna call it quits and then come back the next day and finish it up. So we're here we're doing the end walls, um, there's a slanted roof behind us, you can't really see it because we have film on the windows to protect them, so normally you can see a, a roof line there. Um, anyway, it feels really good up here. These these containers are offset a little bit, the one on the right side is about six uh, further down than the one on the left, and that's so it'll sit on the other containers as support. So you might notice it's uh, slightly different. Um, you'll notice that when we're, when we're making the bulkhead here, uh, that we offset the bulkhead. Um, it, it is roughly six inches off. Here we go. So this is the uh, the bulkhead we're making uh, to cover up the joint uh, container joint where it's welded up. And you'll see the big you see the big difference on the uh, support piece. Um, and these these are just the top and bottom kind of I call them plates uh, that we. we uh, screw all the two by fours, uh, two studs, and then put that in place, hammer it in, and then uh, the wall basically stands up on its own. So Angie and I tackled the back wall on the uh, in the game room. Uh, this required a little more work because we've got so many windows there. And uh, you'll see the, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but there's sea channels running up the wall in three different locations to hold the ceiling up. Um, we have to make little recesses for those, uh, so the wall will actually fit against the wall snugly. Not a big deal, it's just uh, they protrude out just a half inch extra. Uh, they're two, two by two uh, square tubing, four inch wall holding up uh, four inch uh, big thick seat channels. Yeah, there's a little better look to that. But anyway, it uh, wasn't too bad, um, just a little more detail work. You see, we had to build the one on the left, the window on the left we had to build in place. Uh, top plate, bottom plate, because we had to put two wall sections together. We could have built it all on the ground at the same time, but it gets a little, a little awkward to put in place at that point. So we built two sections and put them. 
Sunshine and I were cruising pretty good. Uh, we basically built the whole back, back wall in a, in a few hours. Um, you'll see in a second we're going to work on the back section. Right here you see that window. That's the only moving, moving window if one opens. Uh, right where the ladder is, is going to be a sliding glass door. Uh, we're still going to make that wall section just so we have a, a bottom top kind of situated. Um, but we are going to cut that out once we have to cut the, the, the metal. Uh, it's a 6x8 board. We're going to use probably 4 inch by 4 inch uh, angled iron to put all the frames in for the sliding glass doors. And more on that later. We're probably going to tackle that in the next week. So here we're building the, uh, the section that goes on where the window is and then we're going to come in and do the rest of it. Um, even though it's going to get, a lot of it's going to get cut out, uh, we're going to reuse the wall of course, we're not going to destroy the, the two bys. Um, this, this keeps everything nice and, nice and true. Um, and when we cut the wall sections out, you'll see that I'm sure in, a, in future videos, but um, this, this helps everything stay nice and, nice and flat and, uh, and straight. So, so that's the plan anyway. So this uh, this wall gave us a little bit of a conundrum. We had we had to move the, uh, the window uh, bottom plate a couple times. Um, it was a little bit tight. I'm not sure I show you this. Yeah, we're talking about it. And uh, then we pull it down and we redo it. Um, so the bottom section we tried to cut it out a little bit, move it, but it didn't go. So we had to cut out about quarter inch, move the, the bottom plate down. Um, luckily, you have things like Sawzall that do all that. Uh, we destroyed those two pieces, actually went on and cut some more, we move everything down, put it back in place, and we're good to go. So we had a little rainstorm while we were doing this, uh, we're, we're trying to get done, and not get wet, you know, but uh, the window right there, there's an overhang, so no, no water got in, but then we finished the wall, and uh, off we go to the, our brother-in-law's party, and we're good for the day. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, come back next set of videos. Uh, we're going to do some ceiling joists and some other stuff. So uh, it should be fun. Later.